we're looking at this chart here. This tells us at uh, two different levels. The first level will be for male and female, and that's the M and the F. And then for each male or female, they either eat breakfast or don't eat breakfast. So that's the eat, E, D for don't. Uh, these are female eat breakfast, female don't eat breakfast. And there's several questions we need to answer right here. Uh, the survey is 500 people, and they are categorized to male or female, and after that, they either eat or don't eat breakfast. Now, we need to answer a lot of questions about this. It doesn't matter if you eat or don't eat breakfast in terms of getting this question right. I like to eat breakfast, but that's just me. So I'm going to show you the final product over in Excel, and then we'll go ahead and make this together. All right, I'm going to delete these right here. Down here, I copied and pasted the questions in. So go ahead and pause the video, copy and paste the questions down here. I think starting on row 12 is plenty. So go do that right now. Now up top here, the first eight rows, what I did is I, I did my best to recreate this table here. So you see males and females Remember, 62% is 0 0.62 as a decimal. The other percent, 38% for female, is 0.38. So I put those in. I left space in between because after male, I need two more categories. So move this to the right. So after males, I have eat and don't eat uh, breakfast. So the eat was 58%. Don't eat is 42%. Again, put those in as uh, decimal numbers. Did the same thing for females, eat and don't eat breakfast with those percentages for females. Okay, I also wrote my sample size, which is 500. Just wrote that right here in Excel, so it was uh, easy access. And now we're going to compute uh, how many males eat breakfast, how many males don't eat breakfast. So this is males and eat breakfast, if I could spell, and eat. All right, the rules of probability, we want both a male and a breakfast eater to occur. So we're going to multiply the two probabilities for males and uh, who are eating breakfast. And right, let's go ahead and do that. So this is equals. Now I'm taking the number here, which is C3, and we're going to go multiply by E2. And I just can see the visual right here. I'm going to hit enter. And this 0.35, this is about 36%. This is of all the people, uh, this is 30, about 36% are males and eat breakfast. Next, we're going to go to males and don't eat breakfast. The one thing we could do is copy. Control C. I'm going to paste that down there. Don't worry about the zero number for now. So these are males and don't eat. All right, I'm double clicking this. Again, we're going to multiply two probabilities, but as you can see, the blue probability or the blue uh, cell is not where I want it. Now be careful with your cursor. You're looking for the four arrows, up, down, left, right arrows. They should be black. Do not, uh, this plus, this white plus is not gonna give you what you want. And if you drag at the corner, this double arrow is also not gonna give you what you want. So I'm just gonna drag this and move that to where I want it. And you can see inside the cell, C3 times E4 and enter. Okay. That gives us males who don't eat breakfast, the percentage. Now down here, it's going to be really similar. So I want females and eat. And females and don't. I had to make this row, uh, this column a little wider. And so again, if you need to do that, just click on the column and you can drag it as wide as you need to. All right, you could copy and paste these right down here. And now we're gonna double check, I just double click inside. 
Now this copy paste, it gave me the product of the females who were eating breakfast, C7 times E6, enter, uh, 0.152. And then down here, females and don't eat breakfast, you see that it's already got the two correct numbers multiplied together. All right, we could check the sum just to see all of these should add up to one. I did not check this before the video. Oh, perfect. All right, so again, I just did a sum. Now it's okay to add blank cells. Excel treats uh, blank cells as a value of zero. For a sum, that's perfect. If you're gonna make a product, if I wanted to multiply these four values together, it would also be the same as multiplying another three zeros into it. So sum with blank cells works great because it's zero, but if you ever do a product or certain other operations, it's not gonna work out. All right, so we, those all add up to one, that's great. Uh, Notice these two add up to one, these two add up to one. If I added all of these, I would get two total, but the males and females, these two would add up to one as well. Okay, so I think we have enough information to answer our questions. Now again, I just copied and pasted these in. Right here, they're down below. Copy these, paste them. All right. The last one does say round to two decimal places. We're going to have to do more rounding. You'll see in a minute here. All right. How many males are in the sample? All right. The answer is not 500. 500 is how many total people. But they're 62% male. So we're going to go with equals. I want to take 62% of 500. So again, that's C3, the 0.62 times 500, and that will give me how many males? Now females, there's two ways to get it. I could take 500 minus 310, or I could just multiply again, female uh, proportion, multiply by sample size, boom, 190. Uh, these two should add up to 500. My numbers are easy, easy to add to 500 and check. All right, now, how many males in the sample eat breakfast? Okay, I know the percentage right here, uh, but I need to multiply it by 500. So again, a really similar computation. 500 times males and eat breakfast. All right, we'll come back to this in a minute. Uh, you can't have 0.8 of a person. Even shorter people count as a full person. Uh, so we're going to have to adjust that in a bit. All right, how many females in the sample do not eat breakfast? So this is females and do not eat. That's the proportion. So we're going to go equals 500 times that proportion right there. All right, my numbers were whole numbers, but this one right here, uh, you do need to round it. And my format's general. I think I can just, uh, you want to go the other direction. So I'm just clicking on the number of decimal places. I want no decimal places, and it rounded the 0.8 up to 180. I think there's another, isn't there another part after this? What's the probability of selecting a female who doesn't eat breakfast? All right, so somehow I did not paste that in. Oops, what am I doing? Double click, okay. Part E, female who doesn't eat breakfast, okay. Now I actually have this right on my chart here. So it's this uh, point 228, I could copy, but you gotta be careful if you copy and paste, what in the world happened? Remember that was a calculation, like, and here's a perfect example of multiplying two cells that don't contain anything. So it's treated both as zeros, zero times zero is zero. So I'll just delete that and I'll go equals. So it still has equals in there. I'm just gonna click on that value H8. There we go. All right, this question did say round to two decimal places. Right now I have three decimal places, so you can round it yourself, or you can just let Excel go from uh, three decimal places to two. And 
there we go. That should get all the answers to this question.